Hi, this is Luke Bowman. Welcome to my video for Duke on Jelly by Corey Wong, featuring Phoebe Catus on the vocals. She's a fantastic singer from here in London. If you haven't checked out her solo album, go and do it now. Corey actually produced it and played guitar on it, so there's some great stuff on there. So this is a shorter video. Just going to look at the opening riff. <laughs> the video please give it a like also subscribe to my channel and have a look on Instagram and Facebook as well where I have some of the material okay I'm gonna keep this quick thank you for watching let's zoom in and get started okay for this first part let's have a look at the chords that are being outlined for this opening riff so we've got C dominant 7 A dominant 7 D9 and G dominant 7 What Corey's doing here, he's playing the bass notes and then highlighting two notes from the chord. So he's playing the bass on the 8th fret here, dominant 7th on the 8th fret of the D string, and the major 3rd on the 9th fret of the G string. Sliding up, and then 6th fret, E string, 5th fret, E string and then the same two notes, 5th fret D string, 6th fret G string. So moving to the D9, C sharp on the 4th fret to the 5th fret and then he's playing the major 3rd, 4th fret on the D string and the dominant 7th on the 5th fret of the G string. And then we go, so G sharp, 4th fret, down to the G on the 4th fret, and then the 3rd fret D string, 4th fret G string. So the whole thing together. Right hand is always going. So Put a few scratches in. Nice and snappy, keep it staccato to give it that kind of funky rhythm. Second time round, when you get to the G, it's slightly different. So jumping backwards and forwards between the... So it sounds like this. Final time round when you get to the D9. Just plays that and then a G7. So. Getting ready to slide up into the, the melody part, which is what we'll look at next. The next part is a lot of double stops based around the, uh, the C major pentatonic. So we're starting up here. C major chord, moving down to the C major chord down here. Double stops on the top, so you're sliding in to the 13th fret B string, 12th fret E string. Then a bar in 10th fret, B and E string. A bar then moves down to the 8th fret on your B and E string. So. the 10th fret, okay so the next part moving around on the C shape here, so starting on your 8th fret bar on the B and E strings, then the 10th fret on your B string, then the 8th fret on your B string, 9th fret on your G string. Tenth fret on your G string. And back to 
ninth and eighth on your G and B. Again, keep some scratches going, keep it nice and funky. That whole part together slowly. And then he repeats. Same as we looked at before. But this time, we're going to move up to the C, way up here. Up to the 17th fret on your B string, 15th on your E string, and down to the 15th on your B, 13th on your E, down to the 13th and 12th, down to the bar on your 10th, and then you're sliding up. From the 8th to the 10th on your B string. And then hitting the 10th the on both strings. Next part, same as the beginning. But to end it, we're doing a double stop pattern down here in the C major pentatonic or the A minor pentatonic as you might know it. So we're starting on the bar on your 8th fret B and E strings, sliding down to the 5th fret, so playing each one twice, 7th and 8th on your G and B, down to 5th on your G and B. 7th on your D and G, 5th on your D and G, 7th on your A and D, 7th on your D and G, ending up on the 5th of your G and B. So, like this. the main riff. The other part that I have transcribed is just a cool little bit at the beginning of the first verse which Corey plays that goes like this. I just thought it sounded cool so I wanted to figure out how to play it. So fifth fret on your E string up to the sixth and back to the fifth hammering on pulling off. Fifth fret on your B string to the fifth fret on your G string then 4-5-4 four, four on your G string to the 3rd fret on your G string and then 2-3-2 two, two on your G string to the 2nd fret on your D string. So... Strange sounding lick but it's pretty cool. And that's it, hope that gives you something to go on and you can have some fun learning this song. If you do like it please hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you again on the next video.